Today we are going to be talking about teacher tenure. In this group, we have Krista McDonald, Melissa Dickerson, and Devin Riesbos. Beginning this presentation, we will first define teacher tenure and discuss some guiding questions we had about it. Our questions will lead us in discussion about the history, rights, responsibilities, and the amount of time it takes to get tenure. We will also navigate through questions such as, if teacher performance should have an influence on tenure decisions, how tenure can be improved, and if tenure is necessary. So what is teacher tenure? Teacher tenure is a policy that gives assurance of employment to teachers. It is a form of protection from being fired unless there is just cause. It is essentially job security for educators. Our group has decided upon six main questions that we felt would provide each of us with a better understanding of teacher tenure as a whole, as well as some insights to why it is such a controversial topic within the field of education. The questions are, first, how did teacher tenure come about and why do teachers get tenure? Second, what rights and or responsibilities does tenure give teachers? Third, what is the average amount of time it takes for teachers to get tenure? Fourth, should teachers' performance have an influence on teacher tenure decisions? Fifth, how can we improve teacher tenure? And lastly, is teacher tenure really necessary? The first question we would like to address is what is the history of teacher tenure and why do teachers get tenure? The start of the tenure movement paralleled similar labor struggles during the late 19th century. Just as steel and auto workers fought against unsafe working conditions and unlivable wages, the teachers too demanded protection from parents and administrators who would try to dictate lesson plans or exclude controversial materials. In 1887, nearly 10,000 teachers from across the country met in Chicago for the first ever conference of the National Educators Association, now one of the country's most powerful teachers unions. The topic of teacher tenure led the agenda, and by the turn of the century, teacher tenure had become a hot-button issue that some politicians preferred to avoid. New Jersey became the first state to pass the tenure legislation when, in 1910, it granted fair dismissal rights to college professors. During the su suffrage movement of the 1920s, when female teachers could be fired for getting married or getting pregnant, or even wearing pants, such rights were extended to elementary and high school teachers as well. By the 1950s, about 80% of U.S. teachers had teacher tenure protections. Since then, though, there has been a slow erosion of both tenure protections as well as public support for teacher tenure. So what rights and responsibilities does tenure give teachers? Most states protect teachers in public schools from arbitrary dismissal through tenure statutes. Under these tenure statutes, once a teacher has attained a tenure, his or her contract renews automatically each year. School districts may dismiss tenured teachers only by a showing of cause. After following such procedural requirements as providing notice to the teacher, specifying the charges against the teacher, and providing the teacher with a meaningful hearing. Most tenure statutes require teachers to remain employed during a probationary period for a certain number of years. Once this probationary period has ended, teachers in some states will earn tenure automatically. In other states, the local board must take some action to grant tenure to the teacher, often at the conclusion of a review of the teacher's performance. Tenure also provides some protection for teachers against demotion, salary reductions, and other discipline. However, tenure does not guarantee that a teacher may retain a particular position, such as a coaching position, nor does it provide indefinite employment. Teacher tenure differs from state to state. In most states, it takes teachers a minimum of three years teaching experience to be considered for tenure. In California, along with three other states, the requirement is a minimum of two years experience. There are three states that have no tenure. These states include Florida, Kansas, and North Carolina. And two states, Washington DC and North Dakota, do not have a policy specified. 
California requires two years teaching experience and achieving tenure is based primarily on seniority. However, there are 12 reasons for dismissal. These 12 reasons include immoral or unprofessional conduct, criminal, syndicalism, dishonesty, unsatisfactory performance, evident unfitness for service, physical or mental condition unfitting him or her to instruct or associate with children, persistent violation or a refusal to obey school laws of the state or reasonable regulations prescribed for the government of public schools by the State Board of the Education, conviction of a felony or any crime involving moral turpitude, advocating or teaching communism, advocating overthrow of the government, knowing membership by the employee in a communist party, and alcoholism or drug abuse that makes the employee unfit to instruct or associate with students. A popular question with teacher tenure is whether or not teacher performance should have an influence on tenure decisions. Here are some statistics. 16 states use teacher performance ratings as a component on teacher decisions. Seven states require districts to return teachers to probationary status if their performance is poor. Other states place a high importance on the amount of time a teacher has spent working in the classroom. However, most states, it is seniority over skill. Just because a teacher has been teaching longer does not mean they are more skilled teacher. And some teachers who become tenured become complacent in the classroom. This creates a lot of the back and forth debate on whether or not teacher tenure is a good or bad thing. So how do we improve teacher tenure? In a journal by Nicholas Garcia, he spoke about different ways to improve teacher tenure and some of his points are outlined as followed. The first thing he suggested is that while some schools can receive tenure in as few as two to three years or less, like in the case of California, Research has shown that five years performance is a better reflection of teachers' long-term performance. To extend the probationary period, in fact, raises the bar on tenure and gives teachers more time to, pr to prove themselves worthy of receiving long-term employment protections. Tenure should be earned only when a teacher can show consistent academic progress of their students. It should not be awarded by default. Third, a teacher who earns consistently poor annual evaluations should be able to lose their tenure. If a teacher improves performance, then they can regain that tenure. Standards should be specifically in the best interest of students as a top priority. The appeal can change process of bad faith instead of judgment on performance. Fifth, having zero tolerance for abuse and sexual misconduct. Six, by making hearings more efficient. So hearings should not last more than a day and an entire appeal process should last no more than 90 days. And in, except in the case of egregious misconduct like abuse or harassment, dismissal shouldn't involve risk of having a teacher's license revoked. By making some of these changes, tenure may be viewed more in a positive light and be more accepted by the public as a whole. Our last question, is teacher tenure necessary? According to Kallenberg, there are many reasons why teacher tenure is still necessary to have. One of the first reasons he mentioned is that it significantly strengthens legal protections. The employer must provide just case for termination. Second, it helps empower teachers to teach well. Tenure can protect teachers from adults, such as parents, to school board members that tell teachers how to run their classroom. Teachers will be able to teach students interests in a way that works. A third reason tenure is necessary is because teachers can openly disagree with their boss. Instead of being afraid to disagree, teachers would be allowed to have a different opinion and make open suggestions and express their opinions for the benefit of the school. Through tenure, it can also attract qualified candidates to teaching because of job security. 
also to teach with quality, not constantly worrying about losing their job in the future. Lastly, it can be easier to recruit teachers in low-income schools. Teachers may shy away from low-income schools because there is a higher tendency to be fired due to student performance. However, with tenure, teachers can feel at ease in applying for jobs to, sim to simply teach students and not worry about losing their job. So, has your view of tenure changed or remained the same? Are you a proponent or opponent of teacher tenure? Proponents of tenure argue that it protects teachers from being fired for personal or political reasons and prevents the firing of experienced teachers to hire less expensive new teachers. They contend that since school administrators grant tenure, neither teachers nor teacher unions should be unfairly blamed for problems with the tenure system. Opponents of tenure argue that this job protection makes the removal of poorly performing teachers so difficult and costly that most schools end up retaining the bad teachers. They contend that tenure encourages complacency among teachers who do not fear losing their jobs and that tenure is no longer needed given current laws against job discrimination. So if you could, please click on the Google form link to begin your exit ticket. It's just a short survey on how you feel and why you feel that way. In closing, as a group, we hope that this short presentation has provided some meaningful information on teacher tenure. Regardless of your stance on this hot topic issue, as educators or future educators, I'm sure that we can all agree that our role is so important and we must strive to be just as passionate and hardworking 10 years from now as we are today. Because whether or not tenure still exists in the future, those who love what they do will be secure in their position regardless. Thank you.